Hi, I'm Parker and this is Paxton. And today we are going to learn about the story of Baby Moses and how God is there for us in scary situations. For today's experiment, you will need two oranges and two glasses of water large enough to fit the oranges. To begin, fill each of the cups about three-fourths of the way with water. Slowly, put one of the oranges into the cup of water. Let's see what happens. Okay, do I drop it in? Yep, what's gonna happen? Does the orange float or sink? Float or low. Next, take your other orange and peel it. We've already done that. Carefully place the peeled orange into the glass. Does this one sink or float? Let's see. Sink! So what's the difference between the two? The, the one with the skin floats, but the one that's peeled, it sinks. Because it is heavier, we would expect the orange with the peel to sink, but that's not what happened. That's because of density and the force of buoyancy. Density is how tightly packed an object is. Buoyancy is the force of water pushing up on the orange. If an object is more dense than water, it sinks. If it is less dense, it will float. The orange with the peel is less dense because the peel is porous. This means that there are tiny holes throughout it that allow the air to pass through, increasing the buoyancy of the orange. The same thing happens when we blow up a pool float. When it is full of air, it easily floats, but when it is empty and crumbled up, it may sink. In today's scripture, Moses' mother secretly hid Moses after he was born because he was in danger. When it wasn't safe to keep him with her, she placed him in a basket on the bank of the river. As he floated along, Moses' sister Miriam watched over her little brother to see what would happen to him. She saw Pharaoh's daughter pull him to safety, and later she took Moses in as a son. Even in scary times, God is always with us. Like the buoyancy in our experiment, God protected Moses and kept his basket afloat, bringing Moses to a safer situation. Life can be scary sometimes, but we can trust that we are never alone because God loves us and is there for us. Try this fun activity at home and see what results you get. Have fun and see you next week!